welcome to Thursday Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Blue Yeti microphone. Here's a closer look. I'm actually speaking into it right now. I've been using this thing since around episode 15. That was quite a while ago. Anyways, it seems quite large, but it's mostly meant to sit on a desk, so whatever. It has a couple of things on the front. The blue logo is the front. It has a mute button to stop it from picking up sounds. Below that is the volume knob if you're using headphones. It does not adjust the microphone level. This one does. It adjusts the gain. That's why they call it the gain. The mode selector is back here too. These are both on the back. I'll go over that one in a little more detail later on. On the bottom it has two plugs. The one on the left powers the microphone. The one on the right allows you to plug in headphones to listen to whatever you're recording live. The microphone does not directly plug into a mic jack in a camera. It's powered through your computer, through USB. That is something worth noting. Now these are sold separately, but I do also have pop filters. I actually have several. I always keep them on here. It's quite useful so you don't get those loud sounds when I say the letter P or whatever. The dimensions are 4.72 inches by 4.92 inches by 11.61 inches or 12 centimeters by 12.5 centimeters by 29.5 centimeters. The sampling rate is at 48 kilohertz and the bit rate is 16 bit. Inside here there is something known as a triple capsule system. This basically means there are three condenser mics in there picking up sounds in all different directions. Let me explain the four modes on the dial. I will show you with these blocks where the sound would be coming from. If there's no block there, then it won't be picking up sound from that side. The first one is stereo mode. It picks up sounds from all directions and puts sounds on the left side of the microphone through your left speakers and does the same thing with the right. This is good for surround sound, choirs, or even some ASMR type videos. The next mode is cardioid. This activates only the front microphone. This is good for voiceovers like what I'm doing now, podcasts, singing or recording songs or tracks. The next one is called omnidirectional. This activates all microphones again, but doesn't add the stereo effect. This is best suited for conferences, meetings, or anywhere where you need to hear people in all directions. The last one is bidirectional. This puts in sound from the front and back only. This is good for interviews, duets, or even podcasts in some situations. I will now do a couple of tests. I will start by keeping my main knob where I usually have it. I'll stop talking and we'll listen to how much air noise gets into the recording. We'll listen to the gain. Then I'll do the same thing but with the gain all the way down. And I'll finish off by maxing out the gain and doing the same thing. Here we go. So this is my normal set point. You might want to turn up the volume, but not a ton. Okay. Now, I'm going to reach back here, and I'm going to turn the gain all the way down. Now I'm talking with it at minimum gain. Okay, now you might want to turn your volume down. I'm going to crank the gain up all the way. Okay, now I'm... I'm talking, I'm barely talking, and now we'll listen to the gain. Okay, I'm going to turn it back down now. And that's right about where I normally have it. So now it's time to see what I think about the microphone. So firstly, what do I like? Well. This thing is crystal clear. It probably picks up the sounds the most accurately out of any microphone I've ever used. The sound of my voice that it picks up in here is basically what I sound like. Um, there's, there's a reason why this thing is so popular and there's a reason why so many people have it for their videos. I also like that it has four different settings that you can put it on um, so that it kind of suits whatever you are doing at the moment. It kind of, you know, you can set it up 
so that in case something is different, if you're interviewing, you could put it on bi-directional, or if you want to capture all sounds, you could put it in omnidirectional. You know, anything that you may need. Like I said earlier, I always keep it in the cardioid mode. It kind of looks like an upside-down heart, um, which is why they did that, because um, I'm only speaking into the very front of the microphone um, to narrate these videos. I also like that the sound can travel into your headphones live into the microphone. So if you're wearing headphones, then you can hear directly what's happening through there. There's no delay or anything. It's it's a perfect um, live, you know, whatever you hear in the headphones is what the microphone is picking up. I also think the gain control works perfectly. It It's not like a volume, like it raises everything. It really does gain properly. It's got a very wide range, so... Um, Depending on your setup, your audio setup, and what you're using it for, you may need to change it, but um, it works nicely. So let's go over some of the cons. So the first thing is that it does not directly plug into, like if your camcorder has a microphone input jack, it does not directly plug into there. You have to plug it into your computer through USB. So if you're filming something and recording audio to your computer, and you're using this microphone to get the audio clips to your computer, then it works perfectly for that. But it doesn't directly link up to a microphone jack on your camera. It's, it's externally powered by your computer. The only other thing is that when you first get this microphone and you're trying out all these modes, it doesn't really record these modes directly into an editing program. Like I use Vegas, for example, and it doesn't really matter what mode you record it on. It pretty much sounds the same no matter what mode you have it on. So it kind of makes this knob not really useful, but there is software out there where this can, you know, you can use that software and it will pick up the sound correctly. But if you're just using the direct record button in an editing program, it's pretty much just going to get the average sound. It just turns all the microphones on and basically acts like it's in the omnidirectional, which is that one. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's mirrored. <laughs> so thank you for watching this week's episode. This is just going to go right back where it usually sits. And uh, I will upload again soon. And I hope to see you then.